In this video, we're going to be learning how to optimize your Amazon product photography to increase your conversions. I just wanted to let you know that this video isn't going to be some long and boring lesson. It's a short and simple guide. I recommend grabbing a pen and paper to take notes. Or better yet, subscribe to this channel so you can easily find this video again. Let's get started. Good product images are essential for your listing success because they serve three very important functions. They create a good impression, they generate interest in your product, and they help explain the features and benefits of your product. Having good images or not can mean the difference between getting lots of sales and getting no sales. That's why it's important you put in the time and effort to create the best images possible for your listing. An important lesson you need to learn is that Customers in large part will base their purchasing decisions on whether they like what they see or not. With product photography, you have two options. You can either hire a professional or do it yourself. Either way, you need to know what makes a good product photo. Upcoming, I'll be sharing with you 11 tips to optimize your Amazon product images. Tip number one, meet image requirements. Amazon wants to create the best shopping experience possible for their customers, which is why they require sellers to meet their standards for product images. You must comply with these standards or else you risk your image not being accepted by Amazon. For your images, Amazon requires you meet these technical requirements. All images have to be at least 1000 pixels in width and height, or 1 megapixel. Amazon wants to ensure all images are rich in detail which is why they require all images to be at least 1 megapixel. This ensures that, when customers zoom in on the product images, it will still be clear and rich in detail, not blurry and fuzzy. I recommend producing images in the biggest pixel size you can, as more pixels equals more detail which customers will appreciate. To create high quality images, I recommend using a DSLR. If you're on a budget, you can use the camera on your smartphone the product must fill up 85% of the frame. Amazon wants customers to be able to see clearly and close up what they'll be buying, which is why your product needs to fill up the majority of the photo. This guideline applies to your main image and other images which solely focuses on the product by itself. To create a clean, organized, and uniform look throughout their site, Amazon requires main images to have a plain white background. I recommend using a plain white background as well for your other images which focuses solely on the product to achieve a professional and uniform look for your listing. As for color mode, both RGB and CMYK are accepted. Other color modes such as black and white grayscale aren't accepted. Your images have to be in the JPEG, PNG, GIF, or TIFF formats. Other formats aren't accepted. You must include a product identifier in your image file name, which can either be the ASIN, the JAN, the EAN, the 13-digit ISBN, or the UPC. After the name, you place a period and then the format which is either going to be a JPEG, PNG, GIF, or TIFF file format. Here's an example of what your file name should look like. Here's a statement from Amazon which outlines their image requirements. I'll leave it up to you to pause the video to look over it. Tip number two clean and professional look. To create a good impression with your customers, your background needs to be clean and free of distractions to achieve a professional look. Distractions refer to anything that's unnecessary and not directly related to the product being sold. An important thing to note is that distractions look messy and unprofessional which will turn off customers. For most of your images, the image should only be of the product by itself and should only include other objects if they're directly related to your product. Three ways to achieve clean and professional images are to use a studio. If you're on a budget, you can use a photo box studio which you can purchase or build yourself. If you're really on a tight budget, you can use a plain white bathtub. Tip number three, good lighting. It's important customers can clearly see your product, which is why you need to have adequate lighting for your images. You need to adjust your lighting to the point where it's not too dark or not too bright, or it's just right. To do so, you'll need to adjust the power output of your light source and adjust your camera settings to the correct exposure. 
I would also advise diffusing your light with an umbrella or light box to achieve balance and even lighting. It's also important to note that you need to color correct your images so it accurately portrays the color of your product. Your image shouldn't be too warm or too cool. To color correct your image, you'll need to adjust the white balance to an appropriate setting. This can be done in camera or through a photo editor. Tip number 4. Honest Editing You'll want to achieve the best possible look for your image to impress customers. In general, you'll want to edit your image to achieve the best lighting and to get rid of any imperfections such as dirt and wrinkles. My advice with editing is to not overdo it. It's important to be honest with what you're selling, so any editing done needs to be kept to a minimum. Editing should only be done to fix imperfections and deficiencies. Otherwise, inaccurate depictions of your product can lead to problems such as complaints of false advertising. Tip number 5. Highlight features and benefits with infographics. As humans, we're visually oriented by nature. So one of the best ways to capture the interest of customers is through interesting visuals in the form of infographics. Infographics are a great way to explain the use and value of your product. They act as visual aids to help customers better understand your claims and points. With infographics, customers no longer have to imagine the features and benefits of your product since they can now see them. Infographics will do wonders for improving your conversion rate as visual aids better engage customers. Tip number 6. Highlight specifications with infographics. To create an accurate perception of your product, you'll want to include images which demonstrate the specifications of your product. For example, you can have images of models using your product to show proportions in relation to a person. You can even compare the size of your product in relation to common objects such as keys. Or, you can simply just state the dimensions of your product with infographics. If your product comes in a 3-pack, you'll want to overlay a graphic icon that shows your product comes in a set of 3 to better notify customers of how many units they'll receive. If your product has two layers of protection, you can show customers with infographics. I suggest you highlight all the specifications of your product with graphics so customers can better understand your product. Tip number 7. Parent-Child Images when your product comes in variations, such as different color options, you'll need to have an image for each variation. The main image is what's referred to as the parent skew image, while variation images are referred to as child skew images. Child skew images allow customers to see what each variation looks like, which will help them better decide which one they want to buy. Tip number 8. Multiple Angle Shots to give customers a better sense of what they'll be buying, you'll need to photograph your product from multiple angles. You can take side shots, zoomed in shots, from behind, inside, from the top, from underneath, and so on. Multiple angles allow customers to better inspect your product, which will make them feel more comfortable about making a purchase. Multiple angles will also give you the opportunity to show the different features of your product, which aren't visible from one angle. Tip number 9. Comparison Images Amazon is a competitive marketplace full of competing products, so it'll be in your best interest to provide an explanation of why customers should choose your product over others. One of the best ways to do so is to have comparison images. By comparison images, I mean before and after shots and product comparison charts. With before and after shots, you'll be demonstrating the benefits of your product. With product comparison charts, you'll be providing evidence of how your product is better than competitors. Tip number 10. Lifestyle Images To further explain the use of your product, you'll want to photograph your product in the ideal environment or situation it'll be used in. This is what I call lifestyle images. Lifestyle images are a great way to show customers which areas of their life your product can improve. For example, you can demonstrate how your robot vacuum will improve life at home, or how your hiking boots can improve life outdoors. Tip number 11. Models Have models demonstrate your product as it gives customers a better understanding of how they'll be using and interacting with your product. What you need to know. 
Brand names use models as a way to positively influence customer attitudes towards their product using the model's personality and looks. I suggest you do the same. Models will do wonders for helping you sell your product as they influence customers to imagine themselves in the role of the model and imagine gaining the benefits of your product. Tip number 12. Upload as many images as you can. As of 2018, you're allowed to have up to 9 images for your Amazon listing. I recommend taking advantage of this limit and using up all 9. The more good images you upload, the more interest you'll generate. And this concludes our video. If you can only take one lesson away from this video, it should be this. By providing visual aid, you'll be helping customers better understand your product, which in turn will lead to more sales. I hope you found this short and simple guide helpful. If you did, I kindly ask you to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can further learn how to improve your business. If you find yourself too busy to do the work yourself, I can help. Just click on the link. Thanks for watching.